Hi, this is Mike Danseglio, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about network mapping and the approaches that you can use within Windows using the built-in Windows tools. Now, the built-in Windows tools, I'll just tell you right up front, are fairly basic, fairly limited, don't give a great idea of what's on the network. They are a bit of a quick and dirty technique that you can use in order to take a very, very brief look around. But you have to understand some of the limitations and some of the setbacks that are in these tools. So right here, I'm showing you the Network and Sharing Center in Windows 7. When I click on See Full Map, Windows will actually go out and enumerate the network using a bit of a net view, which I'll show you in a moment, the raw command behind that. Windows takes the information it gets back from that query, puts it on a map in a very, very rudimentary way, and then it actually displays at the bottom left the bits and pieces that it couldn't quite place within the map. So this gives me a, a really basic, really limited idea of what's on the network, but it does enumerate a few different hosts, so I do know that something's going on. It's not a bad start, it's certainly not complete. For a slightly more complete list, I can show you that there's actually a more of a spreadsheet view that you can look at. It's the same kind of data, just with a, a slightly different uh, vantage point. And it shows the IP address for some of the hosts. It shows the MAC address for some of the hosts. So it shows some of the same hosts and so forth. The interesting thing to notice there is that it's a real incomplete list. Not only are there a bunch of hosts out on my network that it's not listing, you'll need to take my word for that, but I've got about a dozen or so live network hosts going on right now. But even for the ones that Windows can find, Windows can't really display all of the data. It's missing some MAC addresses, it's missing some IP addresses and so forth. The reason it's missing all of that is because the underlying technology behind it that I'm going to show you right now is just not supplying that data. And this technology and this data gathering has actually been relatively unchanged for the last 15 years or so. So I'm going to bring up a command line interface and I'll show you that just clicking a net view slash all on my network displays the network neighborhood is what it used to be called. These are the hosts that are out there that are broadcasting that are saying I have some information or some repository of interest. That's primarily where Windows discovers the hosts that it that it can enumerate and that it can display for me. I can then, if I really want to, to uh, further examine the network and further build a network map, I can take a look in more detail at one of the hosts. Let's say RAID 1 Vault. And what will happen here, oh, if I spell it right, what will happen here if I spell it right is it will actually display for me what's going on on the share, uh, which shares are available, the comments, and so forth. Real basic information, but this is the way we page around with Windows if we're using the core tools or if I'm using the core tools. Another core tool in Windows is NBTstat. And I can use this to start gathering information about what hosts have been resolved, which hosts are in my NetBIOS cache. I can also take a look at the ARP cache to see which IP addresses have been resolved to physical addresses. But then I need to do extra steps with that. For example, if I've got a list of, of addresses in the ARP table, I now need to resolve those to find out what they are. So for 1.4, I have the MAC address, I have the IP address, and now I finally actually have the host address. So this takes quite a while to actually do manually, to assemble all of this data, to kind of cobble it together and see what's going on. Is this the best way to enumerate a network? Absolutely not. There are a lot of great tools out there, some free, some inexpensive, some very expensive, some widely deployed, some non-widely deployed. However, you should understand what the tools are that are built in Windows so that you can make your own decision about what kind of information you're looking for, what level of simplicity you're looking for, and then how to make the right decision for yourself. I hope you found this informative. Thank you very much.